Micklow, and I'm here with one of my favorite front men, Tony from The Adolescents. How are you? Hi. Hi, Aaron. I'm fine. I'm so good to see you. It's nice to see you as well. How's the house? <laughs> Coming along. We're paused on renovations. <laughs> But what's for dinner? Um, <laughs> salad. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so let's get down to the meat. Oh, and you're vegan, aren't you? Are you on the gram all the time? <laughs> are you just constantly on the gram and the Facebook? Yeah, yep, yeah, all the time. You're doing a tour with the neighborhood brats coming yes. in Texas and Florida. Right. How did that happen for you to set up this tour with them? Well, actually, they um the the we were they were already out. I think they're already on tour. But we um, um, had booked a tour to go uh, east, and uh, they asked if we would want to do a package. We said, sure. And um, they gave us a list of bands. And to be fair, to the, they gave me like seven bands to choose from. And to be fair, I l listened to all seven bands, but it kind of already decided to send us because I've seen the Neighborhood Brats yeah. and they're, lo they're, they're, local, they're a local band. And so I want to support, you know, our, yeah. our scene. So as well as everybody else, but it's just nice to be able to go out and travel with another band and uh, uh, it'll be very, very exciting. I'm looking forward to it, actually. That's cool. They're a great, <laughs> really, really good. Good band. So, are you guys actually going to be traveling together? Or are you no, like? No, we'll have separate machines, but we'll uh, we'll we'll be it. We'll be using a lot of the same gear, and um, um, we will be the, everywhere pretty much the same time in the same place. <laughs> ready for a tour do you have anything that you do to prep for it or is it you just kind of go I take I walk every day and I do walk a little and then I uh, um, I start uh, eating better yeah to have your you know, energy and your right, stamina for the right. shows and um, I've been eating better anyway but the uh, but you know I try to stay away from foods that'll make me sluggish and put on a lot of weight and you know just you know I want to stay I want to stay limber and yeah. You know, ready to break a bone or whatever has to happen, <laughs> right? Oh, shit. Well, so the muscle around it's strong enough, and these old, <laughs> old muscles strong enough to hold that bone back together. Oh, no. Well, so when you're on tour, do you typically hang out with everybody, or does everyone kind of have their own routines? Because the adolescents do play shows pretty regularly. We hang out, uh, uh, we all hang out together. We're all friends. So um, we do hang out together, at the, and then what we do is we'll go to. Um, at the clubs, we'll hang out together. Um, we all have different interests. So when we're in a town, some of us will, you know, we usually have two or three different directions everyone goes. I'll end up, you know, um, going to a museum and sometimes everybody wants to do that and, you know, sightsee <laughs> or go to a bar and hang out with some, some of the, the, the people that we know. We've, you know, gone out, you know, bar hopping with the casualties a couple of times. And we've been, you know, been in the UK or been in Germany. So it's really fun. It's yeah. a good time. And those guys are wonderful too. So we're playing with them and uh, somewhere in Florida. Uh, probably, in Florida, yeah. yeah. yeah and, uh, maybe Jacksonville. That sounds like it would be about right. Yeah, I saw this that you guys, you, great town. you had like <laughs> added it, right? Because they yeah. had a show the same night as you. And instead of making it a they competing merged, show. Yeah. You made it like a super show. Yeah. Which yeah. is really cool. It's really great. You know, we played with them about, this will be about the third time. And um, and it's always been like that. We've merged shows. So yeah. we're friends and it's uh, it works out really well. Yeah, especially because, I mean, I grew up in Florida and the show venues out there is like, you know, there's not that many punks. Like the shows right. will be packed, but it's like just the volume of people. There's just not as many. Right, right. You right. know? And, and, there, and there's really not any point. It's all the same. We're all, we're all from the cut from the same stone where you know the you know we if we want to if we're going into a town and that's the thing to do let's not make it hard for the people that want you know that that feel torn it's just easier yeah. that way i was really really glad that that happened so yeah really because happy. it's like normally bands don't come through and if they do it's like that would be the worst thing if it's the two bands on one night it's like come oh, on yeah right that would kill me too so and you you're know. like a kid and it's hard to get from place to place already right. like i remember my parents dropping me off at shows and waiting at a bar <laughs> down the street <laughs> in florida oh you're from florida yeah what city 
Uh, Tampa. Oh, well, we'll be there too. But. Yeah, you guys are playing. But I love Jacksonville. Jacksonville's a good time. I really do have a nice time at the, in Jacksonville. I like Corpus one. Christi too. I don't know yeah. if you've ever been down there, but that's a fun place. Too. I have friends in Corpus. And that's they a said they get, they fucking get rowdy. fun town. Yeah, that's a great town. If anybody anywhere else in the world, you want to have the the best time in your life, you go, you go to these places we're talking about. <laughs> Somber note. Okay. I have to ask. Brad is now filling in mm-hmm. on base for mm-hmm. Steve after Steve's passing. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about how it's been with Brad on the road with you guys? Um, keeping yeah. the legacy alive with Steve and yeah. I mean it breaks my heart to even mention this. Like it just well, it feels so unreal well, people, still. Yeah, people are curious too and they want to know what's happening and what's going on. So um, and I don't talk a lot about it to keep it a lot inside I'll talk about stuff but not usually personal stuff um, but um, when we went on we went on tour the tour uh, right before Steve died we had gone we were out for about eight days on the East Coast and we came they came back they went back home and my son and I went to Rome and we were gonna we were gonna vacation in Rome for about you know about a week until the tour started and then we were gonna start our tour in like Berlin I think yeah and so um, um, they got back home and they were there a couple of days and Steve died and, um, and it was a big, it was, it was a, of course a horrible, horrible shock for us. Yeah. When we were on tour, Brad was the, um, was our, was actually driving and tour managing for us. He plays in a lot of bands, but he, that's what his role was. And, um, um, so he was, he's family. I mean, this is somebody that's already with us and has been, but we, prior to Dan joining the band, Brad was actually asked to play guitar. Yeah. And Brad couldn't play. He was he was doing a couple of other bands. He just couldn't do it. He rec- he suggested his friend Dan. And we we're all, like I said, we're all friends. We all we've all been together for 40 years. Yeah, the Orange know. County punk rock right. scene is like it's tight. Right, right. And those guys were were friends of Rick Elric and Elric and I were really good friends. I mean, I lived in Glendora forever. He lived in Covina and we the, the, those guys we all hung out all the time. Yeah. So Brad Brad couldn't do it. Dan played. When we were out um, on the road and Brad was in the car with us, it was like, okay, the, you know, it was this is it, you know, like there's not really any question to me. Yeah. It was like Steve had already asked this guy, this this guy to play in the band. It was the most clear cut thing to me. Yeah. And and very hard for Brad. You know, I mean, I can't imagine the kind of strain that that he's under because Steve was such a loved person. Yeah. And um, and I know that it's. I know it's hard for some. I know, I know some of our fans will never be able to come see us again. I understand that. Do you I, think so? Well, I, think I don't so. think so. I think so. I think some of them, it, it may just be too hard. You know, it just may be too hard to see this with, uh, without Steve. I know it. It had to be hard for his family. Yeah. And um, I tell you, every night, I don't, I don't, I don't notice um, how... blessed I how blessed I am um, I don't usually notice it right away until those moments when I look over and I see that these kids really really excited and still really really excited about them to, to hear these songs to hear them played live um, there I get it you know I get and I get that too but I also get the part you know where we got people that are gonna be like me and you know, some days I look over and it's fucking really, really hard. Yeah. You know, I mean, I keep a picture, pictures of Steve next to my bed. I always have, you know, they've been next, you know, these different pictures have been next to my bed since I was 16, 17 years old. That's how yeah. long we've been friends. And even when we had periods where we didn't, we didn't work together, um, um, 
we were always still connected. Yeah. The band, I mean, he was in my wedding. I mean, we were, you know, I was at, at his. He was at his wedding. He had he had a, a, a different a different group because I was always in and out and gone. But um, um, but it was, you know, we were we were family. So yeah. it's nice to have Brad because he's also he's also family. He's not my partner. Yeah. But he's, he's family, and he's 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 family, and he's fucking great too. On top of it, he's really good. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, when so. you guys played Rebellion um, over the summer, that tour that you didn't want to cancel, that Steve right. and you had worked so hard to set up. That was a that was I really mean, rough, but we got it. We got it. I know Steve was was happy that we beat the shit out of it you, you know? could feel the emotions that you yeah. were going through and it was a great performance because you could feel that you were really doing it for Steve yeah you know yeah. and I'll never forget the first time I interviewed you guys in 2017 and I asked I was like what is it about playing with the adolescents that you love so much and Steve just said this is, this is the band oh, no, we've been friends since we were teenagers and we still like each other we so. haven't got sick of each other I love playing with the adolescents more than any other band that I play in so this is the band that I love so. we always have had so much fun the two of us I mean we knew each other's jokes we knew each other's look just a look a glance uh, uh, a bad joke uh, something that that um, was so inside that w I was not supposed to say it to anybody else and nobody knew what it was about so I would just kind of blurt it at him and he just <laughs> start to laugh and that's how we played together I mean on stage and off stage we we're you know that was that yeah. was how we were. So. Well, so your latest album, Crop Duster, came out shortly after Steve's passing. Mm -hmm. Can you share some stories from making that album together? Oh, yeah. That was a good one. That was a lot of fun. Um, as always, when we go in, we've got, um, we've got everything ready to go, but we do it in parts. You yeah. Know, we go in and do it at different times. So when I go in and do my lyrics, he hadn't heard them, and um, um, I went in and started putting them down, and he was just in stitches so he was it really really this last one made him really really laugh and I'll just you know I just have to say it was a really happy happy recording session yeah it's a like, great album yeah. I was listening thank to it you. today it's great I like it a lot I think it's good so thank you yeah yeah I, I think Steve should be proud that was a it was a really really excellent batch of songs and song amazing songwriting he did just incredible it's really good well, thank you so much for thank taking you, the Aaron. time today. I yeah. love you. This is Tony of the Adolescents, and you're watching Last Rockers TV.